Also developing right now, residents still dealing with a flood of trouble in Cutler Bay after they had days of rains. But some relief, we're told the situation is getting better. Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia joins us live from Cutler Bay. And you have an update on the severe flooding that's happened and are people still trapped in their homes, Annalise? Christy, Janice, for the most part, things are looking a little more normal out here right now. Crews are pumping water out of the lake in order to alleviate this flooding. Crews also tell us that they got over 20 inches of rain in three days, so the situation was bad, but it's definitely looking better. The sound of relief for this Cutler Bay community after days and days of severe flooding in their neighborhood. Cutler Bay and Miami-Dade County Public Works along with South Florida Water Management are working to pump out water from the lake into the bay to alleviate the flooding. We have been living here for like 27 years, first time. Jacques and Yannick Michel have been stuck in their home since Saturday. We used to have it and then after one, one day, 24 hours the most, the water will just go away. Cell phone video captures the floods and several vehicles that didn't make it through, even SUVs. Residents also did what they could to prevent the water from getting into their homes. The thing now is if it's rain again today, we'll get back to the same situation because they didn't fix the problem. All they are doing is just scoop water. Cutler Bay Town Manager Rafael Casals says this low-line area is prone to flooding. The groundwater table is elevated. Add a fact that you got, you know, several, you know, 40, 50 acre uh, pool, I mean, sorry, lake that's overflowing to the streets. It's a perfect combination. Crews tell us they are now pumping 17,000 gallons per minute from the lake. They plan to monitor it so the lake doesn't get too low. Cazal says this situation was unfortunate for the community, but it did provide information that can be helpful. Usually right now this whole area is being studied for a stormwater master plan, and usually you'll have like hydraulic numbers with a computer program. This was the real deal. Now these crews out here will keep pumping this water because of the rain that's expected in the next few days. This is their way of relieving this flooding and they will continue to monitor it to make sure that that lake doesn't get too low. Whenever we learn something new, we'll make sure to bring that to you. I'm live in Cutler Bay, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.